If I can't keep my head held high enough, I'll just speak love and watch the smiles come. Bring my spirits up. There's some shit I like to fix, but I still know that I'm blessed. All right, I'm gonna do another comfort meal in the crock pot today. I like to show people how I cut my onion. I keep it whole like this, and I slice it this way and slice it that way. And that way you don't break it open where all those uh, gases and oils raise up into your eye. I do the carrots first in this recipe because most of what I'm adding is canned. So I'll show it to you in stages. Right now I'm gonna do the onion, the carrot, one spoonful of this garlic, seasoning of black pepper, the steak seasoning, celery salt, one bay leaf, culinary rosemary that we harvested, and the green onion will also go in now as well. And it's gonna go in four cups of this veggie broth, and then I'll add the two cans of stewed tomatoes. I have two different kinds. One has uh, fire roasted and this one includes uh, onion, celery, and green pepper. I don't really like celery, so that's why I do the celery salt to give some of that flavor. The rest of these cans and the other ingredients I'll cover shortly, so I'm at least gonna get that in there now. And I'm making lunch for myself today. I'm gonna do a side of broccoli. Bobby doesn't like broccoli, so I have to get the frozen so I can eat it in small amounts. And in the oven I have this spinach artichoke parmesan uh, vegan like pizza pocket kind of thing. I'll dip, dip that in the vegan ranch. And I like to put a little bit of salt and pepper and distilled white vinegar on my broccoli along with the uh, vegan mayonnaise. So you know me multitasking, getting this crock pot meal together and making lunch. And listening to music, yay. Crock pot is set on high. I'll probably cook it for three or four hours. I like to heat up the uh, bouillon. This is veggie bouillon is my choice. I heat it up and whisk it and then pour it in. So let's get all that in. I wanna make sure I get these residual seasonings out of there with my spatula. All right, the onions are chopped and the carrots. Let's get all those in. So the bay leaf in. Do a scoop of the garlic. Mm -hmm. Dashes of the celery salt. Not too much. This is kind of a more of a prominent seasoning. Black pepper. You know we love it, but it's big holes, so I have to be careful and concentrate when I put this in. Over pepper it. Ooh, that's kind of a lot. <laughs> Good thing there's gonna be a lot of seasoning in here. And then this I'll need two hands. I'm gonna add the steak seasoning. Let's go ahead and throw in some of the green onion now. The onions are definitely for the flavor. It's probably good. And a little bit of this uh, culinary rosemary. I like to pinch it as I add it. I'll probably do like several pinches this size. I get small batches because I want to be able to like crunch it up as I add it to release the flavor of the rosemary. But once again, not too much. Rosemary is a, f I had a friend make me rosemary chicken one time and it was so rosemary and it was horrible. All right. So let me get this last seasoning in and the bottom of the, stuff out of the bouillon here. All right, that's all in. Let's give it a stir with our handy dandy Cutco spoon. So carrots go in first because they take the longest. Everything else in here is for the seasoning for now. And we'll add these other items later as well as peas which are in the freezer, Brussels sprouts that are in the freezer. Um, and I'll go over this step by step. So let's let, let the broth and the carrots cook for a while first. They're uncooked and they take longer. And my lunch is almost done. I'll show you that too. These smell really good. Here's what the pizza pocket looks like when they're done. Let's turn all this off. Grain my broccoli here and get that plated. 
broccoli done. I put it in a separate bowl so the liquids from my uh, vinegar doesn't seep over. Manny's is there, salt and pepper's on it. Dipping vegan ranch for my vegan pizza pockets. I'll probably only eat one and save the other. And then I, tonight, today I'm having uh, apple juice for my vitamins and supplements and herbal stuff. All right, I'll be back to finish the stew. Lunch time. I'm back, I forgot to say welcome to my kitchen, welcome to my music. Better late than never. You can already tell my channel's pretty casual. So, this has been cooking for an hour. Let's take a look-see and add the rest. It's very oniony smelling. Onions give a lot of flavor. All right, let's start dumping the rest in. Potatoes. And potatoes. I usually put what I have on hand and not always do I have fresh ingredients. These butter beans really add a creaminess to it. They're really good. Put those in. And I don't usually do this but I'm short on veggie type so I'm gonna throw in some green beans. Why not? The two uh, cans of the roasted, uh, this is fire roasted stewed tomatoes and, and this one is just regular stewed. Put both those in. They really help with it tasty broth. I'm only going to do half the kidney beans because I'm going to do the other half tomorrow for a taco salad we're making. So I'll just put those off to the side. I'm going to add some garbanzos. All right, and last time I added Brussels sprouts, which I wasn't sure if that was gonna be good, but it was super good. I cut them last time, but this time I think I'm gonna just put whole ones in there, why not? This happened to be frozen, Trader Joe's. And then lastly, I'm gonna add some peas, also from Trader Joe's. All right, everything's in there now, let's give it a stir. I love Aerosmith. So many memories of summers with my girls at the lake, at the pool. Pools, most of us had pools. All right, looks good. I'm gonna let this cook for another probably three hours on high. I'll check on it. Mm, I can't wait. We needed comfort food. We've been going through it. We love this kind of food with some garlic bread or just bread and butter. We'll see. Oh my gosh, I can't wait. All right, we're gonna do some sourdough with vegan butter. For each of us, Bobby says he wants a lot. He's really hungry. So I'm gonna get that butter and let's check out the soup. The poor man's soup. Yum. All right, that's definitely done. Let me take it out of there. Absolutely delicious. And mine is in the big bowl. I'm gonna go ahead and add some nutritional yeast. One, I like quite a bit. We got a big bag of it, so it just adds flavor and nutrition. I'm gonna go ahead and do some French fried onions and some wonton strips on top, too. My bad, I had the wonton instead of the tortilla strips. So the French fried onions are in. Gonna add some black pepper because you know, for us, there's never enough black pepper, and then the tortilla strips. <laughs> One time would've been fine, I guess, but not, not really what I'm shooting for here. Make that little bit of crunch. There's the bread and butter. Dinner! If I can't keep my head held high enough, I'll just speak love and watch the smiles come. Thanks for watching. Bring my spirits up. Don't forget to stop and smell the flowers. There's some shit I like to fix, but I still